there are fears that we have harbored for so long, fears of yesterday, fears of a comeback, fears of a repeat. Those are imaginary fears. Jesus is not coming back to do reverses. He already became sin. That was finished. It is finished. When some things are finished, the Bible says they are finished once and for all. Wow. Welcome to the Marvelous Believers show once again. Here we are as we continue discussing who we are and what Christ has done for us. Here we are as we continue speaking about how marvelous we have become. I am your host, uh, Lucy Lepore, and uh, I am as usual so excited that we are here again and we are here to discuss the word of God, to be encouraged. And I know every time that we share the word of God, it brings life to us. It changes our lives, it changes our mindset, it transforms us, and it leaves us indeed marvelous. So thank you for finding time to tune in, and uh, let's share the word of God together. I would want uh, just to pray together, and then we go to the word of God. Uh, Father, we thank you because you have given us this platform and this opportunity to share your word, and we know that your word has life, we know that your word when it comes forth, there is the grace to perform it. So even as we discuss your word today, I pray that that grace to perform it shall be quickened into our lives and that which you speak to us shall be brought forth, shall manifest in our lives in the name of Jesus. Thank you for everyone that is watching now and many that will watch later because your word can never lose its power. It remains life, it remains current in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And today I want to share with you a very brief message, just a message that the Lord has uh, inspired in my spirit that we should share. It is brief, but I know it is a deliverance to someone. It is encouraging someone. It is setting someone free. It is helping somebody. So I want us to just share this word and uh, pray together. And I know somebody's life is changed or even all of us. Even as I share this word, some of the things I am sharing is because those are personal experiences, personal encounters, things that I have a witness of, things that I have gone through, things that maybe I have now overcome, and I want to share with you. Praise Jesus. So I know once we share this, it is speaking to you, and your life will be imparted and changed. So I'm talking about uh, the last two weeks, I believe we've been talking so much about the finished work that Jesus completed about being on the other side of the cross. And um, I just want to call this message as well, it is finished. And when I talk about it is finished, what, uh, so what next? So for me, as we talk about it is finished, I also want to talk about this new, because once it is finished, there was the finishing and it continued. Jesus said it is finished, but he did, he did not finish. He actually said it is finished, and I think he started a completely new chapter. He said it is finished when he was on the cross, but we know that after that he went to hell, he disarmed the devil, and he rose to the heavenly places, and he is seated in the right hand of the Father, and he is seated there with us. So the finishing was the beginning of something else. Praise be to Jesus. So the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17 says, If anyone is in Christ, I believe that includes you, my marvelous believer, as you watched uh, this show. If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Behold, the old is gone and a new has come. So as we talk about something being finished, we are talking about something coming. I'm talking about the old being finished and a new coming. So I'm talking about, uh, but uh, today I really want to concentrate on this thing that finished. Because when Christ said it is finished, so many things finished. Um, the last two weeks, uh, Minister Eric has been talking about uh, us being conscious that we are on the other side of the cross. We are, on, we are not behind, we are uh, in the front of the cross, it's, we are after the cross. We live in an era where we are enjoying the benefits of being on the other side of the cross. So when I talk about it is finished, I'm talking about the things that Christ finished with once and for all. And so we are living on the other side. We are not going back. And that is the new creation, the new beginning that I'm talking about. So I got um, 
I want to look at a scripture that is in the Old Testament. I know it will speak to us as we continue with our message tonight. Exodus chapter 14, verse 13 and 14. It's a very popular verse I know. When the children of Israel had, ran, had been delivered from Egypt and now they were getting out of uh, Egypt and they had gotten out of Egypt and they were approaching the promised land and then, oops, there was the Red Sea ahead of them. So in front of them was the Red Sea, behind them was the Egyptian army and they felt trapped. There was no hope. I mean, they felt like we would rather have stayed where we were. Maybe we, some of us would have died in a better and older age. Now we are all dying here like this. Mothers, fathers, children, grandchildren, and all generations. So um, God spoke to Moses. Let me read it from verse 13. And Moses said to the people, Do not be afraid. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will accomplish for you today. For the Egyptians whom you see today, you shall see again no more forever. The Lord will fight for you and you shall hold your peace. And the Lord said to Moses, why do you cry to me? Tell the children of Israel to go forward. Praise be to Jesus. I, I don't know how to reach to where I want, but this already excites me so much. God told them, and that's why Moses spoke to them. He was reporting what God had told them, that the Egyptians that you see today, you shall see again no more forever. God was telling them, yes, I know you are seeing this danger. Yes, I know this is right in your eyes. But the Egyptians that you see today, you shall not see them again, and not just for now. You are not just going to stop seeing them now. You cross the Red Sea, and then you see them again. Uh -uh, I am dealing with them now and forever and that is where i want us to uh, concentrate on even as we speak this word uh, as we speak tonight that the egyptians that you see you have seen the egyptians you have witnessed maybe even now you have images of some egyptians that ever came across your life issues that ever came to your life things that you keep fearing to report actually or to repeat sorry actually i i almost thought of uh, uh, titling this message the fear of yesterday and then I thought it sounds very ambiguous that I'm talking of fearing yesterday yesterday has passed but you know that it's exactly what happens to us marvelous believers we have lived in a fear of yesterday in a fear of something that ever happened actually we were delivered from that thing actually we passed it actually we overcame it actually we conquered it but there is a fear at the back of your mind that it can repeat that it can show up again that this sickness can come again that this poverty can come again that that trauma that i went through it can happen again that i went and faced something so great actually i healed it was i went even to therapists and everything it my heart healed people prayed for me but i keep fearing that i could go back to it the fear of yesterday it is actually imaginary i don't want to underestimate maybe what you went through i am not by no means thinking it did not have such an impact in your life i am not thinking it did not take you so long to heal but the fear of yesterday it is imaginary as far as I know, God told them, the Egyptians that you see today, you shall not see them again. It was final. And that brings me to a scripture that I like, Hebrews chapter 10. Let me read it for us. Hebrews chapter 10 and verse, um, verse 12. Chapter 10, verse 12. There, there are so many scriptures around us. Uh, Hebrews chapter 7, chapter 9, chapter 10. There are so many scriptures that talk uh, the same language like this one. So I just picked one. It says, but this man, Jesus, after he had offered one sacrifice for sins forever, sat down at the right hand of God. From what? From that time, waiting till his enemies are made his footstool. For by one offering he has perfected forever those who are being sanctified. He sat, he had offered one sacrifice for sins forever. He has perfected forever. We are talking about a forever work. Jesus did not die so that he will keep dying. 
He did not come and conquer so that he can continue coming to die and conquer. He came and it was once and for all. It was a perfect sacrifice. It was a complete sacrifice. He is not coming again. He completed it. And that is why we have the energy, the courage, the audacity to say the Egyptians that you ever saw, even the ones maybe you are seeing as I speak, you shall not see them again. It is complete. The Bible says we have been, you know, when, when, when Moses was talking to, to, the, to the Israelites, let me just go back to it briefly. Uh, he told them, uh, the Egyptians whom you see today, you shall see again no more. And then the Lord said to Moses, why do you cry to me? Tell the children of Israel to go forward. God was telling them, once I, the Egyptians that you are seeing, I am going to, to deal, once you cross the Red Sea, you shall, actually God knew that he's going to make a way and they will cross and he will finish with these Egyptians. He will finish with them completely. They will never see them again. And that is exactly what has happened to us, the marvelous believers, or even new creation, anyone who is born again, anyone who is a new creation. The Bible says in the book of Colossians chapter 1 and verse 13 that we have been translated, we have been removed, we have been rescued from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light, the kingdom of his beloved son. We have actually been removed from that kingdom. It is like the children of Israel. It was equal to the children of Israel being told, I am, I, once you cross the Red Sea, you shall never come back to Egypt. You will never even see the Egyptians. It is a mark. You have gone to the other side. You are in a new kingdom, marvelous believer. You are in a new kingdom. The things that pursued you on the other side of the cross cannot cross to come and pursue you in the new kingdom. And so I want to submit to you, there are fears that we have harbored for so long, fears of yesterday, fears of a comeback, fears of a repeat. Those are imaginary fears. The devil has made sure we live in fear. The devil has made sure we live thinking this can come back. The devil has caused us to fear. But the Bible says he became a sacrifice once and for all. There are things that Jesus dealt with and he dealt with completely. Number one, he dealt with sin, the nature of sin. He translated us from the nature of sin. He became sin that we can become righteousness. That was done, it cannot reverse. He became sin that we can become the righteousness of God. We cannot again reverse. Jesus is not coming back to do reverses. He already became sin, that was finished. And once you accepted him in your life, you became the righteousness of God. That is done, that is settled. The devil must not continue killing you with condemnation, making you start to wonder if you actually got born again. Am I sure I actually got born again? Am I living like someone who is... I want you to settle it in your mind. When you settle that in your mind, then you will get sure. Jesus said, I will send the Holy Spirit so that he can convict you of righteousness. Because righteousness you have become in Christ Jesus. He came, he became a curse so that we can be delivered from the curse of the law. Every curse of the law, every curse of the fall of man, we have been delivered. It is in the kingdom of darkness and that's where we've been translated from. So there are things that Jesus has dealt with. Things like generational curses, let me tell you, the only reason they want to manifest in your life is because your spirit has not yet conceived or perceived the fact that you got delivered from that kingdom. Those are, the devil is using familiar spirits, he is using imageries, he is causing fear so that you begin to fear. Once you fear, you give him room and he begins to manifest and you start remembering, actually my family has this problem. I also remember my grandmother died of cancer. I also remember there are two other aunties who are barren. I also remember, I also know, there are nobody has gone to university. You start revisiting things that have passed. We have been translated from the kingdom of dark. Those are things of Egypt. Those are the things of the kingdom of darkness. The Egyptians that you ever saw before you got born again. The generational curses you shared in before you got born again. You will not, the Bible says you will not see them again in the name of Jesus. Sickness, poverty, all those things are the things of the kingdom. Even judgment, 
because we have lived in condemnation. Yet the Bible, the, Jesus himself told us, you have passed from judgment to life. You have passed, you have crossed. Let me tell you, there are things that God has delivered us. He is not coming to repeat this thing. He did it, the Bible says, it was once and for all. And so I want to encourage you tonight, marvelous believer, if you are there and all you have done is lived in fear of a comeback, lived in fear of yesterday, lived in fear of things that you even know you overcame, you even know that God delivered you, you even know that God healed you, you even know that uh, you, you overcame, you conquered, but something keeps telling you this thing can recur. Sickness can, it must not, if you conquered it, if Christ healed you, it has no right whatsoever to ever come back to you. But if we continue thinking about it and fearing, we will create room. And so tonight I came to speak to us, to say it is finished. When some things are finished, the Bible says they are finished once and for all. And we are in the other side of life. We are in a new creation side. We live in a privileged generation. Praise be to Jesus. I, I want to uh, finish with uh, just reading one more scripture, the book of Isaiah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, mayarika basuko tarakasaya. Isaiah chapter 43. Uh, it's a beautiful uh, chapter, but I will just read from verse 16 for times, uh, for the sake of time. That says the Lord who makes a way in the sea and a path through the mighty waters. Isaiah must be still referring to the same God who delivered the children of Israel and made a way in the mighty waters of the Red Sea. Who brings forth the chariot and horse and the army and the power. They shall lie down together. They shall not rise. They are extinguished. They are quenched like a wick. Isaiah is talking about what God does. And, the word, and in, I know he is also referring to what he already did. He is talking about those mighty things, those things like so, look like so big, the way the army of the Egyptians looked. And he says they lie down together, Maya Rakataya. Together, let me tell you, together. All those generational issues put together and the sickness and the poverty and everything put together. They lie down together. The chariots, the king and his servants. And the horses and everything, they lie down together. And Isaiah puts it nicely, extinguished, hallelujah, done away with. And then he says, do not remember the former things, nor consider the things of old. Behold, I do a new thing. Glory be to Jesus. Isaiah was talking about, he was prophetic. Isaiah was a prophet. And I know he was talking about a time like this that me and you we are living in. He says, do not think about the former things. Do not consider things that were happening all over. Hey, why anyhow in your life before you are, Christ came into your life? He says, I am doing a new thing. If anyone is in Christ, he becomes a new creation. God was speaking and he was saying, when I do a new thing, you become new. Do not think about the former things. Do not consider the things of old. Behold, I do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? And then he says, I'll even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Uh, then he says, the jackals and the ostriches, because I give waters in the wilderness and rivers in the desert to give drink to my people, my chosen. These people I have formed for myself. They shall declare my praise. Isaiah talks about us, the people that God was talking about giving water, salvation, giving the water of life. And now you, as you listen to me, my marvelous believer, you are not just being given water of life. You have actually become the fountain out of your belly flows, the rivers of living water. That is the abundance of that life that you have received. We cannot continue living in fear of the old. We cannot continue living in fear of powers that were extinguished. We cannot continue running and living in fear of trying again. I want to encourage you, somebody, that you can make a comeback. You can make a comeback. You can actually try again. You don't have to live in fear of, I ever tried 
and now I'm fearing to try again. That fear is a lie. That fear is the oppression of the devil. You cannot live in fear of, I was once so tormented by demons, I keep fearing they can come to, they cannot Tell yourself, tell your spirit, tell your mind to get transformed that they cannot speak to your life, prophesy to yourself and say those things cannot repeat in the name of Jesus. And we are in a new covenant. We are in a new side of life. Glory be to Jesus. I want us to pray. And I want us to end this session with a prayer, just to pray. And we are going to just declare that the things that happened yesterday, they cannot catch up with us. They were extinguished. They were extinguished. The devil may be showing us uh, imaginary things. The devil may be speaking fear to us. The devil may be showing us um, small, small signs to suggest they are pursuing us. But let me tell you, there is no way. It would have looked like madness if one time the children of Israel, uh, they are already in the canon or wherever they are, and they started saying we can see the Egyptian army. When they know they saw them drown. When they know they saw them finish, the armies that you see today, the armies that you ever saw, the Egyptians that ever pursued you, you will see them no more. And even as we make this prayer, I want to declare to you there is the grace to deliver you from that fear. There is the power to deliver your spirit and your mind from that fear. There is the power to separate you from anything that you feared about yesterday. Yesterday is gone and we are in a new covenant. Glory be to Jesus. So let us pray together. Father, we bless you and we honor you. Thank you because of your word, because the Bible says you watch your word even to perform it. And I want to thank you because I know even now you are watching your word and it is working in our lives. The fears of yesterday shall no longer pursue us in the name of Jesus. Everything that we feared concerning our lives before uh, Christ came to us, everything that we feared even before we were delivered, things that we have conquered, things that we have overcome, we declare in the name of Jesus. Jesus, that they cannot pursue us. In the name of Jesus, we are separated. We have come into the kingdom of light. We have been removed from the kingdom of fear of darkness in the mighty name of Jesus. And I want to speak to you who is listening to us. I want you to gain courage for today and for tomorrow. I want you to know that those things cannot catch you. You are in a new kingdom. You are in the kingdom of light. And even as we finish, there is uh, what... Still what Moses told the, the children of Israel, what God spoke to them. I'll just finish with it. What God spoke to them in that uh, scripture of Exodus. He told them. He told them. Maya Rikataya. Sorry, I went to chapter 13. I went chapter 14. God told them, tell the children of Israel to go forward. I want to leave you with that word. God is speaking to you. Go forward. We cannot go back. We can never turn back. We cannot think about yesterday. We cannot live in fear of the former things. The Spirit of God is speaking to you. Go forward. Go forward in the name of Jesus. Go forward. The Egyptians you ever saw, even the ones you have been watching, they, you will never see them again. God spoke to the children of Israel. He said, go forward. And that is our word tonight. Go forward in the name of Jesus. And I believe God has spoken to you. I believe we are blessed. Thank you for watching us. Uh, thank you for always tuning in to Wema TV, the Marvelous Believers show. And uh, let's continue sharing the show with very many of our loved ones. And also keep uh, some of the shows maybe you have missed. You can go back to the YouTube channel and you can always find them there. Thank you once again for supporting us, for your prayers, for your love, for your fellowship. It has been the Marvelous Believer Show, and you are the Marvelous Believer. God bless you.